Welcome to Thoroughbred Action from Gulfstream Park. I'm your host, Ron Nicoletti. I'm here with my co-host. You see this guy right there? How you doing, my co-host today? And we're going to both take a look at the track and weather conditions. You ready? The main track fast, the turf course firm. Our first race, five furlongs on the turf. It's a maiden claiming event for three-year-olds and up, and we do have one scratch to report in here, and that's number five, Wacky Cowboy. And they're off. The favorites were off last and second last. Furious shot began the worst, just in front of clear status. Quick start from the outside for Rock Idol, who springs out to take the lead. Sterling Castle is widest of all, and Smash Key is between them. They're two lengths better than Sophia Leonor, or rather Hector's Pride, who races in fourth from clear status, who moves up on the outside of that. Then it's a stretch of five lengths to Furious Shot, and at the back, the trailer Daytona Bay. They leave the back stretch and move on to the far turn. On the outside, it's Sterling Castle. On the inside, it's Smash Key. Their heads apart. Hector's Pride now takes third in front of clear status. The favorite is fourth and trying to work forward. Two lengths back to a pace setting rock idol. The rest are out of it and they run to the top of the stretch. On the outside Sterling Castle and Oscar Delgado up for a short lead. On the far outside clear status from between them Hector's pride. Here's clear status going best of all on the straight and inside the final furlong he takes the lead. Right alongside Hector's pride second Sterling Castle back third then smash key fourth. Coming to the wire much the best in the first. The favorite clear status is home free. Clear status and Edgar Zayas by two and a half lengths. Hector's Pride second in front of Sterling Castle third, and Smash Key was fourth in 57 and two. And it's the favorite in the first, a number three clear status scoring for PG Stables LLC and GDS Racing, trained by Gustavo Delgado, ridden to victory today by Edgar Zayas. We're going to a fast main track for our second race of the afternoon. It's a seven furlong sprint. These are claimers, three year olds and up, which have never won three races. Seven runners going to the post with no scratches or jockey changes to report. And they're up. Last in, first out, Springfield Alley gets the first call with Beantown Skipper moving to challenge. Sugar Ryan from down toward the inside, and Leighton Fire comes away in the top flight. Down toward the inside, it's River Star just off the speed, Spirit of Dixie, and the trailer a long way early is El Cobre. Down the back stretch they go. Leighton Fire comes on to put ahead in front of Sugar Ryan, who's now second. From the outside in Beantown, Skipper third out four wide, Springfield Alley fourth. Fifth and down inside, River Star, only two lengths off the speed. A length in front of Spirit of Dixie, who's well reserved at this point in time. Second last, three lengths from it, and it's another seven or eight lengths to the trailer, El Cobre. Past the half mile pole after the opening quarter in 23 and one. Controlled tempo being set by Leighton Fire, who continues to lead. Beantown Skipper on the outside is second. Sugar Ryan is now bowing out. Out. Moving up and around that one is River Star, a half a length in front of a rallying spirit of Dixie. Then Springfield Alley on the far outside and still nothing from El Cobre. And up on the outside, Beantown Skipper just took the lead. Beantown Skipper and Francisco Masonette past the quarter pole in front, but Leighton Fire comes right back at him and these two now square off. They'll have to deal with River Star who tips off cover to rally home at the top of the stretch. Beantown Skipper short lead. Here's River Star down the outside and spirit of Dixie tries to make a play with four wide and a move now with an eighth of a mile to go. Beantown Skipper and on the outside, River Star. River Star puts ahead in front. Beantown Skipper is stubborn, but River Star has the measure. Beantown Skipper back to second. It will be River Star and Monterey Jr. to win at a half a length. Beantown Skipper second. Spirit of Dixie up third, and Leighton Fire was fourth in 126 and four. And number one, River Star would not be denied. Held on gamely, owned by Alfred McIntosh the third, trained by Alfred McIntosh, ridden to victory today by Pedro Matare Jr. We will take a short break and be back for the third race. Oh, in about 40 seconds or so. Point of entry's taken the lead. Point of entry has defeated Animal Kingdom by a length and a half. Real Solution continues to attack on the outside. A wild finish coming here at point of entry. Oh, the classy point of entry would not be denied. Point of entry, a five-time grade one winner by Sire of Sires Dynaformer. New for 2014 at Adina Springs. Watch world-class horse racing while dining on scrumptious world-class cuisine. Gulfstream Park features one of South Florida's most popular culinary destinations in Ten Palms. Located on the second floor of the clubhouse, Ten Palms features creative American dishes and daily specials overlooking beautiful Gulfstream Park. Enjoy delicious seafood and the finest in organic beef, whimsical desserts, and daily food and drink specials, all while taking in a breathtaking view of world-class racing. 
for a delicious afternoon of mouth-watering culinary delights, come to Gulfstream Park. Welcome back for the third race. One mile and one sixteenth on the firm turf course maiden claiming event. Phillies and mares, three year olds and up. And the off time favorite in the race was number three, Carolina Dreams. And they're off. Toward the inside, Carolina Dreams gets the first call and goes looking for the lead right alongside Blonde Diva. These two are quickest, and they're two lengths better than Sophia Leonor, who's away racing in third. To her inside, Where's My Tail is now fourth, a length and a half in front of the gray Abbey by the Brook. And the team at the back includes Sky Blue and Black, Sweet Ann Gold, and Megan's Holiday. They race around the first turn, and Carolina Dreams and Edgar Zayas lead it by a neck. They're pushed along by long shot Blondiva, who's racing second. They're two and a half lengths in front of Sophia Leonor, who gets the best seat in the house. Third behind the speed, and three lengths in front of Where's My Tail, who's back fourth. To the outside, Abby by the Brook is now fifth, followed by Sky Blue and Black, then Megan's Holiday and Sweet Ann Gold. The opening quarter carved out in 23 and two contested seconds, and on the outside, Blondiva leads by a head. Favored Carolina Dreams moves right with her second. Two lengths back to Sophia Leonor, who slowly tipped to the clear for third, and on the outside of her is Where's My Tail fourth. Toward the rail, Sky Blue and Black is saving ground. She's inside of an outside running Abbey by the Brook. They're two and a half lengths better than Megan's Holiday and Sweet Ann Gold. They went through the half mile in 40 seconds, uh, 48 seconds flat. They leave the back stretch and move on to the far turn. Here's the move from Sophia Leonor at Carolina Dreams, who has to quicken up. Two and a half lengths back to Sky Blue and Black, and to her outside, Where's My Tail? That's all for Blonde Diva. Megan's Holiday tries to do some work from the back and they run to the top of the stretch. Sophia Leonor on the outside. Zayas puts Carolina Dreams to pressure. They both have to watch out for Sky Blue and Black who's coming up the inside lane. Top of the lane. Sky Blue and Black with every opportunity inside of Carolina Dreams. Three wide and Sophia Leonor. These three to settle the score. Carolina Dreams is a tough customer. She's digging in gamely. Sky Blue and Black right alongside second. Carolina Dreams just switched leads and she has renewed energy and she'll win it at even money. Carolina Dreams grinds it out three parts of a length. Sky Blue and Black second from third, Sophia Leonor. Sweet Ann Gold was fourth in 145 and one. And it's number three, Carolina Dream scoring, giving jockey Edgar Zayas his second victory on the card, owned by JHS Stable, trained by Bill White. We're on the fast main track for our fourth race, six furlong sprint. These are maiden claimers. Phillies, two-year-olds, eight runners going to the post. The off-time favorite, number seven, Sikar. And they're off. Extreme Excess in the center wins the break and goes looking for the lead. Down toward the inside, Tormenta de Oro is showing speed. Out wide is Saving Time, and Saving Time goes all the way up to put ahead in front. The favorite, Sakar is now away in second in between horses Extreme Excess, and Tormenta de Oro is in tight from fourth, and these four have opened up five lengths now on Sale Special. She's fifth with about six lengths to raise. It's two and a half lengths back to the team of Moon Salamoon, and on the inside, Wildcat Magic, and the trailer here early, the trailer is uh, saving, or rather, on the outside, the trailer is Moon Salamoon. They run around the far turn. Saving time is opened here. Saving time has put away Sakar after a 22 and 4 opening quarter time. And Saving Time and Jilver Chamafi arrive at the top of the stretch with a three and a half length lead. Racing second is Extreme Access. Sale special on the outside. Sakar and Tementa de Oro are next, and they run to the top of the stretch. With the lead, it's saving time in those bright orange colors of the herds and off the turn with a four-length lead. Extreme Access is there. Second, Sakar is third down the outside. Late run coming from Wildcat magic, but Saving Time has run them off their feet here. Saving Time inside the final furlong with a flashy debut run here. She's well clear and on her way to her first career victory. Saving Time easily by five or six. Up second, Wildcat Magic from Extreme Excess third, then Tormenta de Oro fourth in 112 and four. Wow. Number eight, Saving Time pays $50 to win. Owned by Herd's Dale Racing, trained by Vaughn Hurd, and ridden to victory today by Jilver Chamafi. We're back on the turf for the fifth, one mile and one sixteenth. These are made in Philly. Two year olds, nine runners going to the post. And they're off. 
very sharp break toward the inside for Gabby's Kitten, who looks for the early lead. Moving up on the outside is Wild Card Hit. Also away in the top flight is Fearless Princess. And just off the speed fourth is Classic Romance in the run of the first turn. Fearless Princess and Arnie Fontanez have tugged up now to take the lead from Wild Card Hit, who races along second. After a sharp beginning, Gabby's Kitten settles into stride racing third. She's a half a length better than Petite Lapine, who's on the outside and now fourth. Then Classic Romance in between them in fifth. It's a two-length margin back to the team of Breaking the City with Blue Sapphire alongside. They're a length and a half better than Image of Rachel, and Milagro's Miracle is last of all as they bend into the back stretch. They're chasing Wild Card Head, who now crosses over in front of Fearless Princess and leads by a length with Pierre Petit Lampine right alongside now in third. It's a two-length margin to Classic Romance. Gabby's Kitten keeps her spot toward the inside, and Breaking the City is out there racing along in sixth position. She's about four lengths behind. It's two and a half lengths back to the inside Blue Sapphire in front of Image of Rachel and still nothing from Milagro's Miracle. They move into the far turn. They went through the half mile in 49 and 2. The leader on the inside is Wild Card Hit by a neck. Fearless Princess is there second. Gabby's Kitten is asked to quicken up third. So is Classic Romance in fourth. The whip's out on Classic Romance and they're chasing Fearless Princess as they run to the top of the stretch. Fearless Princess arrives at the quarter pole on top by two. Wild Card Hit is second. Classic Romance and Gabby's Kitten next as they run to the top of the stretch. It's still Fearless Princess in front. Gabby's Kitten muscles off the fence and Classic Romance is three wide. They're into the stretch. Fearless Princess leads it by two. Gabby's Kitten out after a second. Classic Romance to the outside. Late run coming from Image of Rachel. There's an eighth of a mile to go. Fearless Princess still there. Gabby's Kitten's up into second. Classic Romance is third. Fearless Princess keeps to business and Fearless Princess wins by a length and a quarter. Gabby's Kitten was second in front of Classic Romance third and Image of Rachel finished fourth in 145 and three. It's number three, Fearless Princess. What a nice performance. Owned by Norris and Herbert Finn, trained by Howard Mills, ridden to victory today by Arnie Fontanez. We'll take a short break, be back for the sixth in about 30 seconds or so. A love of horses and a commitment to excellence have come together in the heart of Florida's Marion County. Owned by lifelong horseman Benjamin Leon Jr., Bessie Lou Stables has assembled top-notch thoroughbreds, breeding and racing the champions of today and tomorrow. Breeders' Cup winner Royal Delta has thrilled the racing world with back-to-back -back wins in the Ladies' Classic. As a multi-year sponsor of the Fountain of Youth and the Florida Derby, Bessie Lou Stables is a proud sponsor of Gulfstream Park. Welcome back. Our sixth race of the afternoon is six for a long sprint. These are claimers, Phillies and Mass, three-year-olds and up, which have never won two races. Scratch the one, one proud gal. Scratch the two, Susan's Quest. And they're off. From the outside, it's Alexandra Storm, who's reaching up for the early lead. Down toward the inside, Pure Crazy Luck moves to challenge, and the favorite, Pure Crazy Luck, takes the lead a length and a half. Alexandra Storm is away racing in second with My Cousin Faye now third. After a subpar beginning, Star Blessing moves up now. She's fourth, and she's about three lengths behind. It's a stretch of five to Fantastic Voyage, and last of the six is Jackson's Hestrixie as they move inside the half-mile pole. Pure Crazy Luck has the lead. Moving all the way up to second now is Star Blessing for Jose Alvarez. Down toward the inside, My Cousin Faye is third from Alexandra Storm back fourth. Stretch of five lengths to Fantastic Voyage, and Jackson's Hestrixie is still last, and Pure Crazy Luck is still first. Pure Crazy Luck leads by a length and a quarter from Star Blessing second. My Cousin Faye needs room toward the inside but she's put to pressure and not quickening yet. Three and a half lengths in front of a rallying fantastic voyage and they're at the top of the stretch. Pure Crazy Luck confidently handled, cuts the corner, asks the question and opens up a three length lead. My Cousin Faye's out after a second. The rest are left in their wake, led by Fantastic Voyage and Alexandra Storm. But Pure Crazy Luck keeps her mind to business and she has the lead. My Cousin Faye is clearly second to Pure Crazy luck. A riding triple for Edgar Zayas and a two and a half length winner. My cousin faced second in front of Fantastic Voyage third. Alexandra Storm was fourth and won 12 and won. Number three, pure crazy luck proves much the best. Owned by GDS Racing Stable Incorporated. That gives trainer Gustavo Delgado his second victory on a card and who's hotter than Edgar Zayas. That's his third win today. The seventh race, we're on the turf, five furlongs, and it's a maiden two-year-olds. We have a full field of 10 runners, the off-time favorite, number one, Million Air. And they're off. From the outside, Unsaintly is away the best and going looking for the early lead. Quickly up the challenge, elusive stamp. 
Going down there, clipping heels and losing. The rider was run for the woods. Scattered the field with elusive stamp now leading by a length and a half. Racing second and out wide is Awesome Union here as we're scattled quite back. The favorite millionaire was hampered pretty badly and finds herself last. Loose horses running up inside of Keiko's Express. They run around the far turn. Elusive Stamp and Valdivia lead it by a length and a half, almost two. Awesome Union is there second. And uh, moving up on the outside and now taking third is Unsaintly. Grateful Attitude is next as they run to the top of the stretch. Left alone up top is the leader, Elusive Stamp. She is elusive and she's going to win it. Now Keiko's Express is clear of traffic and down the center. Loose horse is... Uh, Impeding the progress of a couple of them, and it's a late run for Ratnik. Elusive Stamp, a wrapped-up winner by five. Keiko's Express is second. Very close third, maybe unsaintly over Ratnik in fourth. What a nice performance by number nine, Elusive Stamp, owned by Whisper Hill Farm, LLC, trained by Lillian Caslaris. A good job ridden to victory today by Jose Valdivia, Jr. The eighth race, six for a long sprint, an allowance optional claimer for Phillies and Mares, three and up. We have a scratch, and it's number one, Blush, again. And they're off. My Sweet Dove in the center gets the first call and goes looking for the lead. Royal Rhiannon from the high draw, and there goes Best Behavior, and Best Behavior heads off the field and takes the lead. Royal Rhiannon is second with My Sweet Dove in third. Magic Lily toward the inside is fourth, and fifth and last early is Twinkling Time as they run down the backstretch. The two favorites are first and second with Best Behavior a half mile from home and three parts in front. Royal Rhiannon is there second. My Sweet Dove is pocketed up nicely for Jonathan Gonzalez, drafting third behind the speed. Three lengths better than Magic Lily, who's a length and a half in front of Twinkling Time, and there's three furlongs left to go. Best Behavior still doing it nicely, but she'll face a challenge in the form of My Sweet Dove at the 5 16 Royal Rhiannon is the first to crack three in front of Magic Lily. The trailer continues to be twinkling time, and the match is on now. Here comes My Sweet Dove on the outside of Best Behavior. Best Behavior needs to dig deep as My Sweet Dove ushers a full challenge on the outside. These two to settle the score with 3 16 to go. Magic Lily is doing good work from third with Royal Rhiannon fourth. Eighth of a mile to go. Best Behavior tenacious. My Sweet Dove right alongside. Zayas trying to carry home the favorite, and he will. It's Best Behavior riding across. Uh, four on the day for Zayas. From My Sweet Dove second, close third, Magic Lily or Royal Rhiannon. And Best Behavior gets the victory. And welcome back to the Edgar Zayas Show. That's his fourth win on the card. And it comes with number three, Best Behavior, owned by Frank Carl Calabrese and trained by Michael Petro. We'll take a break and be back for the late Daily Double. Sport of Kings, Florida's most unique venue, located at beautiful Gulfstream Park, has hosted elegant weddings, spectacular concerts, and the grandest of social events. Surrounded by lush gardens, pedestrian promenades, and inviting streetscapes in the signature style of Addison Meisner, Sport of Kings is the ideal venue for intimate gatherings or groups as large as 500. Our events coordinators and audio and visual production specialists can customize the room to any needs, while our chefs can create scrumptious menus. For information on holding your next event at Gulfstream Park's Sport of Kings, call our event specialists at 954-457-6186. Welcome back. Our ninth race of the afternoon, one mile and one sixteenth on the turf. Claiming event, three-year-olds and up with two scratches. The 11, Cadillac Charm, also scratch number 12, Speedy Bird. And they're off. Toward the inside, Holy Smoke begins the best and goes looking for the lead, and he'll establish a clear, easy lead. The run under the wire the first time, Holy Smoke taking hold and leads by two. From the inside, Fire Mission comes away in the top flight. So too does Volcano Run with tinnitus between horses. Jupiter will drop back off the speed and race in fifth. Length and a half back toward the inside to El Romano. To his outside is Manzuti alongside Sky Blue Pink. Then it's two lengths to the inside Franklin Park. And Keener Veloz has dropped back last and is about 15 
taking off the pace setting, holy smoke. They race into the backstretch at a controlled early clip, and holy smoke leads by the opening quarter in 24 and 3. Fire Mission is racing in second. Up on the outside and now in third position is Tinnitus. It's two and a half lengths back to Volcano Run to his inside Sky Blue Pink, who's maneuvered inside under the eight post, a length in front of the team of Manzuti and Jupiter. Then it's the team of El Romano and Franklin Park, and detached a long way and not being persevered with is the 10. The 10 is last. Keener Veloz. Less than half a mile to go and Holy Smoke still hassle free up top. Leads it by two from a tracking fire mission second. Tinnitus is right there on the outside and now they start to quicken the pace. Moving up on the outside is El Romano. Also trying to move up from the backfield Volcano Run and Manzuti in between horses Sky Blue Pink. Jupiter is underway and they run to the top of the stretch. Taking over now is Tinnitus. Holy Smoke has nothing to offer. Tinnitus now has the lead. He'll have to deal with Manzuti. Fire mission held up in traffic. Jupiter rallies in the pink and white on the outside and then they're at the top of the stretch. It's Tinnitus who comes off the corner two and a half on top. Jupiter to the attack way out in the center in between horses and coming on late now. Here's a late run from the veteran Sky Blue Pink. Still wide open. Jupiter driving to a short lead. Sky Blue Pink is second. Tinnitus back third. Jupiter in front. Sky Blue Pink in a game stiff drive to be second from Tinnitus in third and fire mission was fourth in 143 and three. Number six, Jupiter gets the close photo, just gets up at the wire. Owned and trained by Angel Quiroz, ridden to victory today by Jesus Rios. Tenth and final race, six furlongs on the main track. Claiming event, Phillies and Mayors, three-year-olds and up. The jockey on the five is Gary Bain. Scratch number seven, Niall Toons. And runners away. Stumbling at the break was Blackstone. Quick start toward the outside for Nina's Memory, who begins the best. Quickly sent out of there is Java Mine. And down toward the inside, Lady from Havana. These three are quickest. The gray ultraviolet improves. She's to the inside of Steve's Lady, who's between horses. And the bookkeeper's out wide. It's a stretch of another two and a half lengths back to the stumbling starting Blackstone, who's two lengths better than Spa Town Parade. Second last outside is Hope's Dream. And Gladys True Love is last of all as they run around the far turn. Java Mine leads, but Lady from Havana comes to call on the outside. Nina's memory is now in third. The gray ultraviolet rides the inside while fourth and four lengths from the speed. A neck better than the bookkeeper followed on the outside by a rallying spa time parade and they run to the top of the stretch. That's all for Java Mine. Here's Nina's memory up now to take the lead. Right back at her lady from Havana second. The bookkeeper sent wide for the drive and ultraviolet is just inside of her. Spa town parade tries to find her best stride with three sixteenths to go. Nina's memory streaks in for the drive with a three length lead. Spa town parade is running on well but she's running out of time. Back to third lady from Havana, then ultraviolet. It's Nina's memory and Pedro Monterey Jr. for a riding double, moving away in the 10th and final to win by almost five. Up for second spot town parade from lady from Havana third, then ultraviolet in fourth, and the 10th and final race of the afternoon. And it's number nine, Nina's memory scoring in the 10th and final race, owned by Maestre Racing Stable and Joseph Arengo, trained by Pedro Moreste, and that gives jockey Pedro Monterey Jr. his second win on the card. In the pick four, four of four paid 509.85. The pick five, five of five, one thousand nine dollars fifty-five cents. Four of five, eleven forty. Pick six, numerous tickets, six of six, nine fifty-two fifty-four. We'll have a one hundred thousand dollar jackpot guarantee going into Saturday's card. And that wraps up Friday's action. Remember, Saturday, a beautiful 10 race card, including the Monarchos Race 9, the return of Atreides, undefeated in two starts, triple digit buyer figures in each race. This is one special horse. You got to be at Gulfstream Park, right? He agrees. Good night, good luck. <laughs>